get to the point. But no, she doesn't let me use the table. I thought you could do that on the ultra stick. Yeah, that was a good candidate. It still is. Show off. Look at that. Why are we flying upside down? <laughs> they don't know. They're all sleeping back there. Yeah, right. Opportunity to get on the bike and say, All right, everybody put their seatbelts on. We're going to do some rolls. <laughs> yeah, tighten them up outside loop. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be your retirement flight for sure. <laughs> yeah. Would the plane be able to do it? Um, yeah. Would it? If you're high enough, huh? Uh, it can sustain two and a half G's. You could do, uh, I'll show you what what a 707 did, a real 707 did, a real airliner. What, what you do when you want to do something like that, you pull it up to about 30 degrees like this and then start your aileron roll and don't pull more than, and it just kind of barrel roll out of it like that. So you don't pull more, pull more than two and a half G's. And the seven, this is on video, 707 has done it. And I've done it in a similar. <laughs> okay. I've done a lot in the simulator. Come on, don't late night fly. You got flaps on that thing, huh? No. I had power on though. If there was no power on, it would have dropped right out. <laughs> but how do you get it to lose altitude so fast in your approach? Um, power. With powered and, and with elevator? Yeah. Are you driving in the ground? Or? No. a lot of power off and then put power back on when I get close to the ground. But there's still power, I still hear the engine. Yeah, but they're just barely rotating. So I have power. Idle. I'm adding power here. That's how they come in and too fast. Yeah, oh yeah. When you pull G's you really lose the speed. on the bottom of it. Try the end. Yeah. Enough of that crap at home. Wow. Nice approach. You're no fun, really. Perfect landing. Hey, you know I'm capable of the crash. You know I'm capable of the crash, man. Don't give me that. You know I can do it. <laughs> 